regards to the game, you know, we talked about doing something that we haven't done all year, which is coming on the road uh, in a playoff environment and, um, you know, winning a football game. And couldn't be more proud of the men in that locker room than I am in the way that we finished that game today. Um, everything we do starts up front uh, on both sides of the ball, and we ran the ball tonight uh, for 224 yards. And we finished the game when we needed to for us trying to pound the ball in the fourth quarter. Uh, very impressive from a standpoint of protecting the football uh, and then taking it away on the uh, defensive side of the ball. And when you look at time of possession, uh, 39 minutes, which is critical, really trying to keep uh, Geno and those guys off the field with that high-powered offense and those receivers. Hi, everybody. I'm Joby Smith with the Carolina Pro Football Report here at Seattle's Lumens Field, where the Carolina Panthers won their first win on the road this season. It was something that we talked about, and we felt like we had to do it on the road. Uh, and we wanted to be aggressive, uh, as we did, went for it on fourth down, uh, didn't get it. Uh, great stance by them, but we never wavered. Another it, you know, keep persevering, find a way to win the football game. And we talked about it at halftime, you know. Good football teams, which I feel we are, all right, and I told them that. I say, but great ones learn how to finish, and let's go be great. The Panthers started focused on offense with a 13-play, 43-yard scoring drive when Eddie Pinero hit a 47-yard field goal in the first quarter. Then with 6.44 left in the first, the Carolina defense making things happen with J.C. Horn's 31-yard interception return all the way down to Seattle's 13-yard line. On the very next play, Sam Darnold connected with Shai Smith for 13 yards out. That put the Panthers up 10-0. Darnold kept leading the way in the second quarter, spreading the ball around in the passing game. Then Chuba Hubbard capping a 12-play, 74-yard drive with a one-yard TD run that put the Panthers up 17-0. Seattle later answered on a seven-play, 67-yard score and drive. Geno Smith hitting Tyler Lockett with a four-yard touchdown pass. The Seahawks trailed 17-7. That Carolina defense playing strong when C.J. Henderson picked off Geno Smith. His 20-yard interception return gave the offense great field position. Then following an unnecessary roughness penalty on Seattle, Pinero increased that Panther lead to 20-7 on his 32-yard field goal. Right before they went into the locker room, Geno Smith hooked up with DK Metcalf on a 12-yard TD pass to make it a seven-point game. Then in the third quarter, Jason Myers hit a 27-yard field goal that pulled Seattle within three. In the final quarter, the Panthers knew they needed to put more points on the board. They went 10 plays for 74 yards in five minutes and 26 seconds. Raheem Blackshear's eight-yard TD run made it 27-17 with just 6.57 left in the game. The final 30 to 24 Panthers with their first road win of the season. Afterwards, everybody reflected on the great victory. Yeah, I mean, we won. <laughs> I want to see it go that way every way. I mean, rather he get the ball, I get the ball, he get the ball, you know, no matter what running back or whoever's in there, as long as we win, that's the goal. And like we said, we want to get two in a row this week and, and we did that, so it was big. I mean, we pride ourselves on just continue to pound the ball, pound the ball. You know, in the first quarter, may not hit the way we want. Second quarter may not, but we know third, fourth quarter, it's going to wear on them and did today. Oh, yeah, it's definitely emotional. You know, it's something that we haven't done all year. We haven't got two wins in a row. We haven't won on the road. So um, this is great, but um, it's not It's not like we won a Super Bowl. So we got to keep going, stay focused, um, and just keep keep chopping wood, you know, and we're going we're gonna to get there. You know, it's just you just got to be able to make the plays that come to me. You know, it was one pick, they didn't give me the other one. But, uh, you know, I was glad I was just able to help the team in any way that I could. Just a testament to the, you know, leadership in the locker room. You know, guys like Burns, Shaq, uh, DJ, um, just keeping us together. Um, and like I said, we, we expect to win. We don't go into any game thinking we're going to lose. So uh, we're just happy to get the win. Anytime you can run the ball for 200 plus yards in, the, in an NFL football game, it makes your job as a quarterback a lot easier. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I think most of our pass yards came in the first half, and the second half we were just able to run the football. And, you know, that's that's kind of our identity right now. And, you know, if we're able to um, – if we have to throw the football, we can. But the way with, that we're running the football, it's, uh, it's special to see. So week 15 is Pittsburgh in Charlotte. For the next game, Steve Wilkes getting his true focus for that game. Very important to keep the momentum as they try to make the playoffs.